here we are with uh, disk drives. Um, the disk box cost me two pounds with a floppy disk drive in it. Let me just make this full size. Um, you can see that I've got a load of tabs across the top, so I'm going to be recording everything I say about something that's already been recorded because the voiceover was lost. Um, yeah, so this thing here, make sure it's actually running, is, um, was broken in the car. You can see there's a little crack in the bottom of the case lid. Um, but the whole thing cost me two pound. There was about 65 discs in it. Um, and yeah, I got £36.99. Uh, there was a floppy disk drive in it. However, um, I saw that separately because basically if you have a floppy disk drive, you'll buy, buy some floppy disks. But you're not going to buy floppy disks if you don't have a floppy disk drive. If you have a floppy disk drive, you're not going to buy a set with a floppy disks and a floppy disk drive in, are you? Because you've already got a floppy disk drive. So it sort of, you're paying extra because of that, or you'd think it would be. So I didn't combine them. I split them up and I sold the floppy drive separately in a box that, by the way, some other people were looking for 20 odd pound for. It does have a crack in that corner uh, of the locking lockable lid. But I did that myself in the car on the way out from the car boot sale. Uh, it's just one of those things, and I just couldn't find the piece of plastic other balls I might have super glued it down. I'm not sure. Um, the person who bought it, I don't think they cared. Well, if they'd cared that much, they wouldn't have bought it, would they? Um, so think of this one as a pound and the floppy drive as a pound. One pound into thirty six ninety nine was excellent. They were all brand new, and I did test a couple of the floppies, and they worked fine. Um, and then I formatted them and put them back in as brand new. Nobody, could, you can't really tell. Um, and as I said to you, the, the cases alone are worth twenty odd pounds. So at thirty six ninety nine for sixty odd floppy disks. Um, unused mostly apart from the ones I've tested um, it was a it was a bargain bargain anyway that cost a pound and I'm getting rid of that by my uh, mouse at the moment and here we are with the other part of the deal that costs two pounds so I, I count this as a pound as well so 12.99 I think I came away with a profit of eight or nine pound i am um, after fees and everything this was nice um if you know and you've watched some of my videos before you know i collect all these defunct old cameras wherever i can get hold of them for two or three pounds and this is the back of one of them 64 megabytes which is tiny these days you might only get maybe uh 60 shots um but back then you got hundreds of shots anyway 14.95 i got for this delivery would have been 68p plus a 20p envelope so what's that 88p under a pound anyway um and yeah good margin so the camera itself would have cost me maybe three pounds maybe two i don't know um so yeah really good margin and i keep the camera to sell off later in the month in fact i did sell it off later in the month you'll find that out later um there isn't much more to be said except that if you find the really big ones they can go for 28 29 pounds for the one and two gigabyte cards um especially the ones that are faster there's normal and then there's h and then there's m speeds this is nice really good margin on this this cost me a tenner this is nice a really good margin on this this cost me a tenner it came with three remotes 
uh, two of which were I'm not sure that they worked with it but this one that I kept with it did work with it as you can see it was over two kilos so we're looking at maybe uh, sort of 5.95 postage plus box plus wrapping materials so I charged 7.99 which is probably about right. It might be an eight pound, eight pound fifteen total cost actually, but it doesn't matter because I still made a lot of money on this one. As I say, it was ten pound. I was surprised when the lady said ten pound to me, and then I looked it up and I found out these can sell up to one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy pound with a guarantee from an electrical shop. Um, they're not selling as new; they're selling them as refurbished with a guarantee. Well, I polished it so it's refurbished as far as I'm concerned. I didn't take it apart and check everything and replace the hard disk or anything, which I suppose you could if you wanted to. Um, but, you know, it records hundreds of hours of video off your free sat channels and plays them back without having to put disks in and all that sort of stuff. Really high tech at the time, but still very good value for the money um considering it's free sat and you're not paying a subscription for the satellite feed anymore anyway um you never did with free sat but you obviously if you had a skybox and you have the satellite outside you can use the same feed because it's the same uh satellite constellation that you get all the channels from anyway i'm not i don't know why i'm showing people that if it was and what I'm pointing out is the price of the delivery that I charged was less than it cost me. But I don't mind because I probably made um, £80 profit on that after fees and costs. But also, I might add, I had the two remotes to sell. And they're quite fast sellers themselves, the Humax remotes because people are looking to use these free sats again all the time now they after saving money the watchword this year is save money free sats the word free means you don't pay any subscription so going forward for the rest of the year and going into what I can only describe as hardship for a lot of people and a recession this sort of thing is going to be in demand in high demand in fact I recently sold another one exactly the same um, actually it wasn't exactly the same it was one of the um, 1010 S's which is um, white that's the only difference um, I had to buy the remote for the white one but that will be in next month's recoup um, top up video. So we'll, you know, I'll talk about that then. I don't know why it's taking me so long to come off this. By the way, what I'm doing here is a voiceover over um, a video I made with a voiceover, but the voiceover microphone was some sound disabled. Here's the uh, one of the other remotes. I got $13.99. Well. It would have cost me three pound to post it with maybe three pound twenty plus fees on top. So you're looking at your three ninety nine gone. Um, the fees on fourteen pounds is about two pound fifty. So take that off. That leaves about seven fifty. So seven fifty back um, on that sale isn't bad at all, really. That was the nicest of the two. Uh, remotes that came with the other one don't forget I made over 80 pound on the previous one so that's another 750 so we'll call it 8750 up to now I'll that 10 pound and then uh, if I don't linger too long on this one uh, I'm just saying now that it was free post here like there you can see I'm highlighting the 1399 I've got to think what I did in the past now you see because um, uh, I'm not doing this I'm doing the voiceover unlive if you see what I mean not live voiceover so this will have made after fees costs and all that only about three pound fifty 
because it had to be sent for three pound but there again i'm adding that into the 87 pounds so probably 90 pound out of that 10 pound in profit after all costs fees and deliveries and all that now this is a good example of um, the free sat um, systems that I sell they can be used for sky they've got a sky card but the, the card is normally just increases the amount of free uh, ones you can use um, or you can subscribe to Sky with it if you're already subscribed in the old system, not Q. Obviously, Sky has aggressively been pushing people onto Q from their normal satellite dishes. I think uh, they realise now that satellite isn't the way to go. Uh, the latest, that's the one step up from Q is now Sky Glass, where it's all built into the TV. And the TV just goes for the Wi-Fi, and you doesn't you don't even need a satellite dish because it's not satellite anymore. It's just streamed, just like a Now TV box. But every Sky Channel is Now TV. If you see what I mean, because um, Now TV you get about four Sky Channels. It's run by Sky, and it's just streaming box. Well, Sky Glass is every Sky Channel is just streamed. Which means you need high value, high uh, unlimited bandwidth uh, broadband, but uh, everyone's getting that now. You know, there's no throttling involved anymore. Um, I mean, I, I could run a speed check on this now, but I think I'd probably be getting in the region of 80 down and 25, 30 up. They say you're meant to get 100, but it's just not true. Um, and that's gigabytes by the way so it's fast um, it's fast enough to have several TVs uh, watching uh, you know um, TV at HD I'm not sure how many TVs at like uh, 4k you know um, but my, my TVs not 4k anyway so doesn't bother me at all that quite honestly it's very difficult no it's not difficult to see the difference between 1080p and 4k anyway let's go away from that this um is one of maybe four that i sold this month in fact i'm i'm on to i'm talking in june now um i've i'm up to number eight num, number 20 for the year um so yeah they're certainly selling 14.95 um this cost me two or three pounds at a car boot in uh north yorkshire i went up to do weatherby thorpe arch and roof of all on one sunday morning and this was in Thorpe Arch. I think it cost me two, maybe two pound fifty, maybe three. It didn't have the box. With the box, you can get another fiver, maybe even tenner. Um, but it was nice enough. It if you collapse it down by taking the rubber blocks out that get stretched, they're like sort of single pieces of rubber that act as bands. And um, when you push it down, they're, they're stretched. Um, sort of by these hooks that are built into it. If you take them out of that, then the whole thing collapses down into the size of a large, uh, I won't say a large shoebox, but it will go as a small parcel. Um, this is another floppy disk drive that I bought at the same car boot as the other ones. This one cost me a pound in a box from a clearance guy. So, yeah, that was good. And, uh, it was easy enough. I included one drive, uh, one floppy that I'd taken out of that previous box with it. And luckily, I found another one in the cab uh, in the garage the other day because I found another floppy drive in since. This cost me eight pound from a clearance guy. Um, I read the instructions, worked out how to use it. 
And then I did a video, which I'm going to show you now, of me using it um, as part of the new video sales scheme that you can do with eBay. You can upload a video, and and this is the video that I uploaded. It's actually a bit slower than it was a lot more smoother than this in the video. It's just it's been translated twice now. Um, there you go. You can get signs. You can get letters. There was different fonts, um, and uh, I cut away from it because I got so much time and that um yeah sold for 73 quid plus delivery so nearly 10x in total it 10x in um turnover and then you've got to take off i don't know 20 percent in fees uh six or eight pounds to deliver it um it says six there but it probably costs more than that um yeah I try not to uh, undercharge, but certain times you have to because it's just what everybody else is charging. Anyway, this was a, a wireless hub that came for about a pound thirty. I bought four or five Sky things in a carrier bag, and I just asked her for, would she sell it for a fiver, and she said yes. So I'm counting this one as one pound thirty, or was it one twenty five, something like that. Um, when I did the maths. I think it was that anyway um i counted it as like 125 something like that with the fees off and the 125 off the postage comes and covers itself i probably made eight pound uh maybe even 750 not a big deal and that's profit by the way not return so 750 profit I am trying for like a minimum of £10 profit on these larger items. I can't do that with video games. My average sale at the moment is, or no, during the month of, um, the last three months rather, my average sale of the last three months is £19.12. It has increased um, from, at the beginning of the year, it was uh 14 or 15 pound but i'm aiming for over 20 as an average sale including all the small video games because of the 100 pound items this was uh one of the five stereo uh hi-fi gear gits bits i bought off a um a guy at the uh, car boots i bought five pieces off him uh the video is like in January or early February. Um, so if you want to go back and watch it, you can. Um, it's got me sort of looking worried on the front uh, thumbnail. Anyway, this was a nice functional uh, player with a CD on the top and a drawer that opened outwards for the, for the uh, tape, which is pretty basic. The grills didn't come off, so there was no sort of niceness to it. There was no real damage to it either. The odd little bit of marking here and there, some cosmetic wear. Uh, but it was never going to be an expensive item because there's nothing special about it at all. You know, it's got a CD player, it's got a radio, it's got a tape player. That's it. Um, it's got a little bit of wear. You can't see really nice speakers out the front of it. There's no real special design on it. Um, you know, it had a backlight for the for the uh, for the display, but it was all manual. You pushed it to open. You know, the same goes with the um, tape player. It was all manual. You push the thing and you wait for the spring to open it. None of this electric where you just push push a little button or you know a, a drawer opens automatically. Uh, and because of that. It was cheap, and it seemed cheap, but it had a pat test. There's the pat test thing. Um, and so 30 quid plus delivery is a fair price, and I was quite happy to get that. This one, this one was, uh, this one was 
from a clearance guy, the same guy I bought all the hi-fi gear from, but a couple of weeks later, and I paid a pound for that. Um, it's just like the one I use right now on my own desktop. Um, it's a different model, but it's the same size, shape, uh, different colours. So that's an M525, I'm using an M185, which is a replacement for another M185 that I had. I got this from a, um, a car boot, actually, the one I'm using now. Um, and this one was... Uh, this one was a pound, but it was a bit grubby. So I, you can see there's a few bits of dirt and grime still around the edges. I got as much as I could out without opening it because it was sealed. Um, but I had some pictures from uh, library pictures there on the end. You see, you can see those. Um, yeah, £21. You can't grumble. This one, another clearance guy. Uh, I saw it on its own, not in the box, on his table. Um, and it just looks exactly the same as it was in the box there um i don't know whether i show you the pictures earlier and um it had um a star and a, a big red button stuck on to the start buttons and the stop buttons for both the cassette and the cd player and i'm thinking maybe it's been for somebody who's got you know dementia or um learning difficulties and because it was in a clearance, maybe they died or something. But it was in absolutely lovely condition, like new, um, apart from these stickers that were stuck on it. So I carefully peeled one of them off and found out it wasn't, like, super glued on. They were just, like, um, sticker stickers with a bit of gum. So they came off very easily and cleaned up. Um, I said to the guy, how much is it? And he said, well, it's quite a bit because it's got a box and all the packing materials and everything. So I said, well, fair enough. How much is it? And he says, uh, £12, which is quite a lot for these clearance guys. So I, I didn't argue. I just said, yeah, fine, I'll have it. Um, knowing that it was a £40 minimum item, it turns out that they're, they're about £50-odd pound delivered brand new. So I couldn't get a huge amount for it past that um I, what i got 45.99 free post was right top end really um we, and the postage would have been the 5.99 so 40 pound for it minus all the fees and costs of 49 46 pounds you pay your fees on your postage now of course you're paying your promotional fees on your postage and you're paying vat on the fees and the promotional fees so I normally work on a 20% now. Um, so that's £9. £9 off the £40 leaves 31 It costs me 12 So £19 profit. I'm not going to grumble at that. Um, £19 out of £12 is not a very good multiple. But it's £19 profit in one go for one sale. So I'm not going to grumble. Um, and this is the sort of thing I would happily invest in, decent money, in order to get a decent return. I mean, 19 out of 12, it's 150-odd percent margin. Um, well, no, it's not your margin. It's 150% return on investment. And your margin's only uh, 30%. Of turnover, but it's still good. I do work on an average of about 45% of turnover, but that includes smaller items. Um, and they pull it down a bit. Some of the larger items you might make 75 to 80% of turnover, um, after all fees, costs, delivery, and everything, but um. I'm really not concerned about the exact figure unless I'm in the £50,000 turnover range when I'm not. I'm nowhere near it right now. Um, 
I'm aiming for that. Um, this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this uh, target of 130 pound items. Sorry, 100. Sorry, let me get that right. 100, 100 pound items. Finally, moved on. Right, this was 17 pounds final bid. I started it at uh, 11.50, which is 50 pence the camera. These are all the cameras that had all the memory cards in that I've taken out and sold separately. Um, or um, I've picked up for 50 pence because I didn't have anything in. Or I've um, like sold a battery. Or I've bought as, as a, a, a going concern camera to resell and, and something been wrong with it. Like, uh, well, you'll see later on, there's a couple where the, the battery covers have come off or one of them or two of them had a cracked LCD screen and one of them had a bleb in the LCD screen. Uh, a couple of these are cameras that I've used myself that are... I've used for buy, selling stuff on eBay by taking photographs with them and putting the card in the uh, computer or putting a, a um, you know a data cable across to the computer. Um, this would be that Lumix there, and if you move further across, uh, maybe we're not going to do that. This one here, this Olympus. Uh, which I'm obviously not concentrating on. Anyway, so you can see that some of the things are, are quite damaged and certainly worn to the point where they're not selling, they're not going to sell. That was a 3.2. This one is Olympus here. I used for several months, um, but it started getting these sorts of grey spots in the uh, pictures from the CCD, and it because it, I dropped it a number of times. Um, so it just went in the pile, like uh, all the other cameras. And I got £17 in the end for that, which uh, with the postage works out at £23, and it cost me £23 to sell 20... Sorry, I sold it for £23, 23 cameras delivered. So I was very happy with that. Um, obviously, I'd rather sell one camera for £22 plus delivery. And this was a nice camera. Um, in really good condition, it says light cosmetic wear and a crack near the real screen bezel. But quite honestly, um, handling it, you wouldn't have known there was any light cosmetic damage on it. Um, you needed a, a good close look at it to see the damage. Um, but they got a bargain because you see this here, that there was... Um, I've sold recently similar and I've got one up for sale as well for like they've sold for 12 15 pounds for that leather case there to go on somebody's um, and that was like as new um, to go on somebody's belt to put the camera in because it's Lumix branded and it's exactly the right size for the camera so you know a snapshot I don't know whether it's magnetic snap or proper physical snap shut i think it was magnetic actually but yeah um had all the bits with it as you can see and uh it would have cost me i think a maximum of four pounds these were a bit of a letdown i paid three pound three pound fifty for these something like that um cleaned them right up brushed them a bit so that the uh, the nap of the actual leather looked really nice but I still didn't get any really decent money for it. Um, probably took me half an hour or so to list with, with the staging and the cleaning. And, um, yeah. Well, after fees and everything, probably only a fiver profit. Um, yeah. Too much time taken on something that wasn't going to fetch a fortune anyway because they're just too plain you know they're not special i think um when you look at people who do sell trainers on the internet uh on ebay they're looking for the specialist um high-end 
unusual not the run of the mill these were nice um new book leather as you can see i brushed them a bit so they could try and get rid of some of the watermarks because occasionally this sort of leather does harbor marks um i also cleaned the sole with a um, toothbrush uh, so that i got rid of all the there wasn't much dirt in it anyway i was very impressed with how clean they were when i bought them in the charity shop i paid seven pound for these which is i think the most i've ever sold uh, no it's not the most it's nearly the most i've ever paid for a pair of shoes in a charity shop um, i'm really not keen on spending 12 or 15 or 20 pound for a pair of shoes because they can get damaged and these are clacks so you know they never know when the soles going to fall apart i did squeeze them about a bit and they were fine very lightly used at all there was nowhere at all on the soles so i was just assuming that somebody had worn them once or twice and just never taken them back to the, to the uh, shop um they went in a box but at seven pounds getting 32 pounds i was really happy with that um there's not a lot more i can say about them really um it just happened to be a, a decent priced uh model not all clark shoes have that sort of value um but these air vent ones active air vent do you know plus of course it was a nice leather um if it was just a standard leather then i don't think i'd have got that much for it right these two were i was surprised was a, these were good a good margin as well i paid uh, obviously I, somebody bought both of these and the postage combined was 16 pounds and they never asked for a discount and they never asked for any money back but when I did wrap them, it came to more than a tenner anyway. <laughs> so if you include all the time it took, I probably got paid quite well to wrap them. Um, but, I mean, I do do a good job on these. These um, glass dish pans, they're not fragile, but obviously if they were wrapped badly, they could easily break. So what I do with these is I, I wrap the lid in paper, about three or four layers. That then goes onto a cardboard cutout sort of uh, for the lid, for the boss. It goes inside out in the lid, in the pan, uh, with all the space in the pan filled with cardboard and paper so it doesn't rattle about. The whole lot gets wrapped, bubble wrapped, a couple of layers thick. A thick bubble wrap then there's a cardboard sleeve for the handle and then the whole thing's wrapped in cardboard so you've got three layers at that point uh, you've got paper then bubble wrap then cardboard that whole lot then goes inside a box that's the same size and shape well not same shape but the same size as the pan once it's been wrapped and then that box is floated in another box with a uh, void fill around it. And both of those fitted into one of my large boxes um, with some cardboard and bubble wrap. It wasn't bubble wrap, sorry. Some cardboard and void fill paper. Um, so it probably took me, I don't know, over half an hour to wrap that. Um, and yeah they didn't complain about the price they, they gave me good feedback on it right here was um, another example of a combined uh, sale which I was very pleased with um, they bought this hamper it's a proper craftsman made hamper this not one of these ones where they've made the lid and they've made the base and they've stuck them together with like the hinges of like plasticized pleather and they've got like a, a brass bit that's been stapled through it this was made by somebody and if, if you look they've got little sort of willow hasps with a willow um stave 
and the hinges are willow um, and the, the, the lids being made with willow stave frame with willow wrapped edges and corners and then woven with willow there's nothing that's not willow in that basket at all um, very well craftsman made and you could tell that from uh, handling it um, when I picked it up at a car boot I asked how much it was and the guy said three pound I'm like yeah <laughs> I was expecting him to say 12 um, and then maybe have to argue the point and try and get it for under a tenner but he said three pound fair enough mate um, so yeah they bought that and then they sent um, they didn't well the first thing I knew about it was they sent a message saying I hope you don't mind the other things I bought I've paid for collection and I want you to collect them for me and put them in the hamper and send the whole lot together um, so what they'd done was they paid for collection on the next three items and they expected me to wrap them as though I was sending them out individually and put them in this box with extra wrapping and I was a bit hmm. so they expect me to do all the work but they don't want to pay for it but when you think about it they've paid eight pounds and it probably actually cost me near a nine actually to send this out it's quite a big hamper um, and it went in a in a strong box so your 7.99 was the actual postage the strong box was probably one pound 15 one pound 25 plus VAT um, but this is what they bought on top of it a Yahtzee score pad a very small monopoly to go like portable monopoly and a downfall well between them they came to about two kilos and the basket itself wasn't heavy that it wasn't that heavy maybe three kilos and I was sending out as a, a five to ten kilo parcel um, because of the size and shape of it so they fitted in it without uh, affecting the price at all so rather than mess about with extra uh, bubble wrap with these I just wrapped them in a bag each and then filled the entire entire basket with uh, paper and wallpaper void fill and then stuffed them in that rather than using any bubble wrap at all so it didn't cost me any extra to do all that and um, the basket itself didn't really need bubble wrap so what I did with that was I put it inside the larger box and void filled it with extra cardboard and then I think I wrapped the box in a big maybe two big bags because I didn't want it getting wet and um, if it was to get wet through the cardboard you know dampness can affect this sort of basket plus those things could have got wet because I didn't uh, bubble wrap them so the extra 23 quid on top of that 26 quid what's that 52 pound plus 8 pound delivery 60 pound for the four items uh, yeah really pleased with that this um this is the the pitfalls of electricals um you can buy something that looks fantastic and um, test it works fine i took it home this it didn't cost me a lot i think it was maybe two or three pounds I took it home um tested it on my own xbox there's a um a diagnosis thing you can do on the xbox where when you sync in a new controller you can test every button um and include things like the uh the, the joysticks back and forward side to side and in and out because they're pressed down um i did all that and it tested perfect so i put it up for sale 35 pound plus delivery and sold it within a week i was very pleased with that the moment it arrived at this person's house or at least like an hour or two later the guy's like messaging me saying it don't work properly don't work 
uh, one of the one of the thumbsticks is drifting. I'm like, well, I did test all that before I sent it out. Um, but he did send in some photos of him doing the same diagnosis that I, I'd already done, and it showed he was like holding it up without any buttons pressed, and it showed one of the buttons pressed. And I don't, I mean, at that point, I'm thinking. Is he, is he telling Porky's? Is it the other one that he's pressing up? You don't know, do you? Anyway, uh, I determined to let him send it back. He had, I don't really have an option if he says it's faulty. And he sent it back. It took about 35, 40 days. eBay have this thing where, although you've uh, paid for the uh, return label, they don't. Uh, they don't. How, how can I put it? They don't start the clock on the return label until it's been printed, and he's got thirty days to print the return label. I thought he wasn't going to turn it back, but he did it after about twenty-eight days <laughs> um, uh, of him saying that he was going to send it back. It took him about twenty-eight days to send it. Anyway, when he did arrive back, it came back in my packaging. Um, and it was definitely the same one. Obviously, you can read the serial number on all these things. And I do check that and make a note of it. In fact, it's always one of my photographs. I photograph the serial number and put it in my listing. So it was uh, faulty. Um, it was drifting. And it wasn't drifting when I sent it out. And it was drifting when he got it. So it's been bashed about in the post. And who knows whether it could be fixed very easily or not. It's about £15. I think the cheapest I've seen is about £13 to get it fixed. Well, I've lost a tenner. But it only cost me two or three quid. So effectively, I could still pay for a repair. And sell it again and still make a profit. But it's a lot of effort considering something like this, I paid £3 for. I sold it within a few days. Uh, didn't have the uh, the charger, unfortunately. I bought this air ram £3. And I got it for £3 because it didn't have a charger. It would have been £5, £6 otherwise. Um, but I paid £3 for it. I think it might have been £3.50 actually. I think they counted my offer of three pound with three pound fifty, and I paid it. Um, so after all the costs, fees, deliveries, and everything, I probably made twelve pound on that, which is fine. Um, didn't have a charger, so I left it running for about ten minutes or so to make sure it wasn't going to just die off, and it was fine as a, as a battery. This was nice. I paid, I want to say, two pound. I think it might have been 225. There was a time when this was new and sealed, by the way, and so it sold within a, an hour or so. I think um, there was a time when something like that in a charity shop would have been one pound fifty, but I think the minimum starts at about two pound, two pound twenty-five now. Uh, this is the exact opposite. It cost me the same money, sort of two pounds, but it took about six months to sell. Um, nice piece of glass as you can see um, you can see from the surface under there that it's been made in a very crude and fashioned glass however I've got to say something here there's Chinese people making these in exactly the same fashion as people in this country make them as craftsmen and they are indistinguishable so it's either right artisan made fused glass or semi mass production from China and you really can't tell the difference um, anyway I sold it as fused glass handmade uh, absolutely guaranteed to be handmade where it comes from is another matter didn't say anyway I got 16 quid for it um, it could be sold in the range at £3.50 for all I know but I bought it for two pound odd in a charity shop. This was a nice camera. I paid, I think I made paid four or five pound for this because it had all its gear. 
might have gone up to six pound I don't know because it's got two batteries one of them is a replacement but even so worked perfectly um, I was tempted to keep this but it was only 12 megapixels um, and I'm looking for higher resolution now if I was going to pick up a digital camera I wanted to film a video at full HD not HD movie we say it says HD movie there that means 720 uh, 1280 by 720 which is it's okay but it's not really good enough for YouTube or anything this was nice um, this is the second of that uh, oh no it's the second one this month of um, those five pieces of hi-fi in fact I think I've got one piece left out of the five I've sold everything else um, yeah Hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. I originally started this at two hundred and nineteen. Actually, I think I might have started at two forty nine. Anyway, it went down and then down again. I sent offers out and sent offers out. I think I'd sent an offer out for about one hundred and fifty nine. Might have been one hundred and sixty four, something like that. Um, considerably less than one hundred and seventy nine. In fact, you lot. I think you have to give a minimum of five percent off your one hundred and seventy nine. So that would be about what's that about eight pound nine pounds um so it would have been like 165 something like that um anyway i got the whole whack because what happens is as soon as you start sending offers out to a certain amount of people like maybe three or four watchers um they start promoting you really heavily because they want the promotion on the 179.99 which might be two percent 2% of 200 of 180 pounds is 3 pounds 60 and that's on top of your normal prom, uh, fees plus the VAT of course yeah i was very pleased with this um i was very surprised when the guy only wanted 20 quid for this anyway plus it had a stereo tuner on top of it which was 20 quid for the whole stack including the tuner um so effectively this was like a 15 pound and that was 5 pound 15 pound for this and i got 180 quid back plus delivery it cost me well over 20 pound to post um it was two large um parcels of um dpd size which means they were 60 by 60 by 60. they were quite 60 by 60 but they were over the maximum size the ups would take for the for the weight um without like going you know into really expensive territory <coughs> and they're quite heavy i think they were 12 kilos each box um no sorry the main box was about 15 kilos and the the, the two lighter the two speakers in the the other box was about 13 kilos so yeah two boxes and um so it was about 18 pound plus all the packing materials plus uh, the boxes plus insurance i paid insurance on that one and this was last for the month that i want to show you um 49.95 for a crown stereo cassette player and not even a radio version um this was i think four pound to me might have been four pound fifty brand new in the box in its bag and it's polystyrene packaging um i think these were about eight or nine pound when they came out back when you could get radio cassette players and stuff sorry cassette players um it wasn't a nice brand it was functional and as you can see but the point was this is brand new basically it's new old stock um, everything was working perfectly it all fitted perfectly there was no marks no scratches um, yeah very nice and uh, very nostalgic you know so I've got good money for it um, it's not the sort of thing that sells every day so it's just not worth doing loads of discounts and reductions on something like this you just 
set it up and let it sit um i think if you see there i revised it in february uh at seven at night and i probably put it down from 54 pounds i probably had it up at originally at 59 pounds something like that um and then had a couple of discounts and left it at that right that's the end thanks for watching there'll be another one out very shortly if this one works um for june